Another one. What, what? So this is the Dudek Zero Gravity Harness. Side pocket. It's good for a phone. Reserve deployment handle on the side. Right underneath the butt. It's good location for it. There's been research done that says that this is the most natural place to place a reserve handle uh, because in an emergency, pilots tend to reach right underneath their, their thigh, right here, for the reserve handle. So that's good. I like that. This is a foot stirrup. <clears throat> it's not a speed bar. This is where you can rest your feet in the air. You can extend your legs out like this. Oh, it's got a dual reserve. Another side pocket here. EN certified harness. This is a size small with a max load of 100 kilograms. There's another pocket in here. I don't know if you can see that. Just like a separator pocket. And there's also a zipper pocket pocket in here. I like to put um, like my phone and wallet and keys in the, the zipper pocket on the inside. So even if I do, do crash hard. Uh, and then the bag here, I don't land on my phone. There's a little bit of cushion. So those zipper pouches in here, that's where I like to put my more valuable items. This bump here is foam. You can squish it. And it's about this big. That's your spine protection in a crash. We have Cobra buckles. It's pretty comfortable. I'm actually surprised how lightweight it is. Usually these harnesses are, are fairly heavy. Dudek branded carabiner. And these are made of steel. These are steel carabiners. So this is the Dudek Zero Gravity Harness. Doing my hang check. It comes with a stirrup. I don't normally use one, but I'm gonna test this one out. And one really cool feature with this foot stirrup is if you have to throw your reserve, it pulls this, this uh, nylon string out and your foot stirrup's released if you have to throw your reserve. So it doesn't, there's no chance of the reserve getting tangled in it or anything. Like the adjustments, I'll release. I'm gonna go into the reclining position. I prefer to sit more upright in the harness because it makes it easier to get up and out in the landing position. And then to get back, that's what you have a foot stirrup for. Helps you get back into your seat. This is the first uh, aqua harness I've ever flown. So I'm super excited to test it out. Aqua harnesses are known to give you a lot of weight shift authority so that you can put a lot of input into the into the glider. We're hiking up agave in the Franklin Mountains. I got the 20 meter warp on my back. I've got an acro harness in my bag and conditions are actually looking kind of light right now. Hopefully they get stronger and then be able to soar the whole mountain range. Fingers crossed. Hoping for a long flight today. The winds have sucked lately. Can't wait. Peace. In case you didn't know, this is part of paragliding. This is the part where you sit and you wait for the wind to pick up and get stronger. Head over there to the triangle. 
All right, dude. Come on, baby. Come on. Just got to make it to the road. Ow! Oh man, look at this roll authority. Look how easy I can weight shift. Look at that turn. I feel like I can do wing. I actually like this, man. I'm digging this weight shift. Dude, it's just, it's not strong enough today. Not strong enough at all. Shoot the gap between the bushes. Running. Ta da! And for my next trick, <laughs> I will do a four minute sled ride. Yay! So do that zero gravity harness. I got four minutes of flight time on it, but that's better than zero, I guess. Uh, it's just not strong enough today. And I kind of knew that, but I wanted to come paragliding anyway, because I really wanted to test this harness out. And um, honestly, I didn't think that I would like the harness too much. I thought it would have too much roll, but um, it's not too bad. It doesn't roll unless you want it to. If you want it to roll, if you throw some weight shift in, it gives you a huge amount of weight shift, really easy. It feels neutral. Most harnesses, when you try to weight shift, they kind of fight back and they want to stabilize you. And then I've flown some harnesses that when you uh, lean into it, it, it falls to the side. It's like you're balancing on an exercise ball. And then when you lean into it, it falls to the side. This harness doesn't feel like that to me. It feels neutral. So if you want it to lean, you can lean and then it'll stay there. But it's really easy to bring back as well. You just rotate your hips and you can bring the harness back. Uh, so I like that. Uh, I was worried it would be like being on an exercise ball, but it wasn't at all. It was really nice actually. Um, the only other downside of the Acro harness, at least for what I do, is that it's a uh, it's a bigger harness and so the pack size is bigger and I do a ton of hike and fly so I like lightweight harnesses very small compact harnesses 
so it's easy for me to stuff it into a bag and hike up a mountain. But for those of you that are blessed to live at sites that you can drive near to launch, then uh, hey, acro harnesses are cool. And they give you a ton of weight shift authority and safety. These acro harnesses are really safe. They're over-engineered and they have a lot of padding and uh, you can pack two reserves. So that's a huge plus. Um, anyway, I won't take too much of your time. Just wanted to give you my thoughts on this Dudek Zero Gravity Harness. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.